Yo, what's good, YouTube? It's your boy, Dr. PGAG. Everybody's got to get money back for another YouTube video. Banger, baby. Yes, sir. Yes, ma'am. Let's get right to this trailer, man. We got Bad Boys 4. Uno, dos, tres, cuatro. You know what I'm saying? That's crazy. It's four of these things, man. You know, they just take so much time between the installments, particularly the first one and the second one. I think it was like a decade between it. Um, but yeah, shout out. This is one of my favorite movies, um, movie series, you know, and franchises right here, man. Uh, you know, you got Will Smith, Martin Lawrence. You can't go wrong with that. And then, of course, Michael Bay directing. You know, it's going to be action packed, as well as also. Um, you know, I do want to add, though, even though I love Bad Boys 1. Bad Boys 1, to me, is the best. I love Bad Boys 2. But uh, I'm going to be honest, Bad Boys 3, um, which I believe was also 10 years apart, too. Uh, I didn't really care for Bad Boys 3. I thought it was okay. It wasn't bad, but it was okay. It wasn't as good as I expected. But let's get right to this trailer. Hopefully, this was promising, you know what I'm saying, much better than the third one. And, and as good as the first and the second one. Let's go. I ain't going to hold you up any longer. But don't forget to hit... But before we get to the video, don't forget to hit that subscribe button, smash the notification bell as well, so you get notified when I upload a YouTube video banger as well. So hit that like button for your boy. Let's take off, man. The doctor, let's ride. Bad boys for a ride or die Come trailer. On, let's Mike, go. Slow down. We are late. Oh, you're going fast Come again. Mike, you, know, <laughs> you know, you know, Marcus can't take that speed. Get a ginger ale and nothing else. <laughs> Are those dogs fresh for the man yesterday? <laughs> Give me one. Put some relish on that. Oh no, nah, you can't get all that. Oh. Stay right there. Mm -mm. Is that Skittles on the counter, Marcus? <laughs> this ain't mine, right? Yes, it is. Shut the fuck up! Marcus, get in the car. He has a gun to my head. Wanna deal with him? You wanna deal with me? Sorry, sir. Like Lowry said, he ain't playing. Hey! Ooh! Call 911. Aren't you the police? Right. You gonna tell me to call the cops? You the cops? Call the emergency, I guess. Did you eat my snacks? No, sir. You ate my snacks, didn't you? you <laughs> they got him back. Marine, sir. Well, then you need to deploy. You look 30. Dad, look. We now have evidence that oh. Captain Conrad Howard of Miami we'll talk about that was working directly with drugs. Well, they brought, they brought the captain back. Let's go. They found a way to bring him back. That's what Howard I want to talk about, too. Being frank. Let's go. What the hell? He's texting us from the other side. No, that's crazy. Not, <laughs> he's taking <laughs> contact with us from the other side. Fuck! Fuckers! Fuck them all! Oh, man. I don't know how that was high up this shit goes, but don't trust anybody. You're my bad boys. Now clear my name. Get it, bad boys, baby. You should be careful. I have a couple. Okay. They're being set up, detectives. Mm. Oh, oh! Whole thing is set up then. Hey, hold on now. We got two suspects, Lowry and Burnett. You know, damn, you know, damn, well, Martin ain't running. And dangerous. In five, <laughs> three, four, Yo. Come on, man. <laughs> Are they hot? Y'all are some terrible fucking fugitives. Will Smith. Oh, come on. They bring it back to old scenes. Okay. Nostalgia. Martin Lawrence. Hey, yo. I need nasty Mike. Showing them nuts to the city. Yeah. I got this. What you do, though? <laughs> With the Skittles. Hey. Hey. You're right. I look good now. Are y'all still in our clothes? Oh, no. Because Not the Confederacy. Still in your shit. Is that Reba? Look at your On the shirt? <laughs> Why don't you sing us a little Reba song? That is Reba oh, McIntyre. Oh, Reba. Sing your favorite. Uh, I'm a woman. So I'm a strong black woman. Strong. <laughs> yeah, you're not black. You hey, gonna yo. Do? What you gonna do? Mm -mm. That ain't no Reba song. Oh, Lord. It's from her mixtape. That made the white boys mad. <laughs> it's on the mixtape. That's crazy. All right, so uh, that, that was a good trailer right there, man. Of course, the trailer's always good. I, you go, a, a movie of this magnitude, this caliber, you're rarely going to see a bad trailer. But it does look promising, in my opinion. I saw a lot of little tidbits of things I want to talk about. Hopefully, I can re recall everything. First off, uh, I like how they brought back the captain. I forgot about that. He passed away in the third one. He got killed in the third one, right? Um, I, I like the way that they found a way to bring him back. You know, obviously, it's through... Um, it's going to be posthumously, you know, he left some recordings because he's being framed by whoever he's being framed by, whether it's the government or it's whether the city, the the, uh, the city, um, or maybe maybe it's the feds, whoever's uh, framing him to take the heat for something. So they have to clear their name. That's what this one's going to be about. But I did see when they grabbed him and, and you know, that guy that said, um, y'all are bad food fugitives, y'all the worst fugitives ever or whatever. He might he remind me of somebody. He remind me of uh, Will Smith's uh, character, Mike Lowry's son. Remember his, his, his estranged son in the third one. 
I was just, I was assuming that he was gonna be in the next one, you know, because I saw the third one ended off like he was gonna continue on and come back, but I didn't see him in this trailer, so I wonder if he just wasn't showing in the trailer or if, or if he just got X, X'd out the movie, they decided to go another route. And then also too, another thing that I don't like, man, um, what I knew was coming, but I don't like, is that Teresa Randall, who who, who played Teresa, uh, Marcus's wife, Martin Lawrence's wife, she's not in there, man. But I did see some things about um, maybe her health might be in question, or you know, she might have a health condition, I'm not sure, some some, some video that, that surfaced about her in a walker and stuff like that. I don't know if that has something to do with it or not. But I will say her replacement, the actress, Tasha Smith, she's a great actress as well, a great thespian. So I know that she's gonna fill the role fine, but it's just you know it's, it's just the fact that I'm used to it. You know that's part of my childhood having Teresa there, Teresa Randall playing Teresa. You know what I'm saying? So that's gonna kind of uh, it's gonna be a little different, kind of like when uh, when in Fresh Prince of Bel Air, so we were talking about Will Smith stay on the Will Smith theme. The Fresh Prince of Bel Air when when they switched the mom, the Aunt Vivian, you know, not the mom, but the Aunt Viv Aunt Vivian. You know what I'm saying? When they switched her, uh, it, it was she was they're both great actresses, but it's just a little, it just it just took you a little while to get used to it. That's all. So uh, yeah, but I I really think this uh, movie's gonna be good. Like I said, I like the fact that they brought found a way to bring back the captain, and uh, yeah, man, I look forward to this one. And I wonder if the sun's gonna pop up. Y'all, let me know what y'all think about it in the comments. Appreciate y'all rocking with me as always. Love y'all for real. We out. Remember, with God, we can do anything. Without God, we're nothing. Peace. Love y'all. Enjoy what you just saw. Check out this playlist right here for more exciting trailer reactions and movie reviews by yours truly. Follow my other socials as well.